Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got Fusion ROM KitKat version 1.0.4 beta. So it's still in beta version and I have already done a VR for this ROM and it's be it's come along a long way and it has a lot of new features let's get into it now uh, first of all what you would see here is the lock screen i will just zoom out a bit okay first of all what you would see here is the lock screen which is pretty much similar to what you would expect from a kitkat rom so it is nothing special let's get into the launcher now well let's get into the launcher now so it has uh, the normal uh, experience launcher no this is not the experience launcher this is actually the um, light cm launcher so you do have that option uh, what's special about this rom it has a ton of functions you know a uh, few roms have uh, actually ventured into this territory of having everything at once and this rom has successfully done that so that's pretty good um let's get into the rom uh, settings now uh, first of all, I'll go to the about phone page. You can see it is Fusion ROM. I'm not sure if it, the lighting is correct, but it is Fusion by these guys, by Ufla. Status, uh, legal information. Okay, this is 4.4.2 KitKat. So Fusion is really into the KitKat version now. It is 1.0.4 KitKat Beta. So it is still in beta, but still it has a ton of features. So that's what makes it wonderful. So something else the uh, kernel is actually boifla kernel which makes it really fast um boifla kernel is supposed to be a performance kernel so it does deliver that kind of performance so that is awesome let's get into the other things now um now you can see in the interface settings the extra features there are only three options and a more button i'll get into the more uh, later first of all themes it does accept a uh, few themes but I couldn't uh, run a few CM 10.2 themes. I, I guess I need to uh, get 10 point, uh, CM 11 themes for it to run. So uh, that's something which limits you. So you have to find a few themes. Now this one is TRDS uh, from SlimROM which makes everything dark. But Fusion Dark has a different kind of wallpaper. You can see yeah, the wallpaper is changed. The sliders will be changed also. So there are a few differences. Also, this is 3.0, which means there is switch theme manual, automatic, or when the light condition is or dependent on time. So that is pretty darn good. So that's pretty neat. Let's get into the other forms. Uh, Fusion box. That is where all the other settings are. First thing is the f enter Fusion box. That has a plethora of uh, new settings. It just has it just. It's just overwhelming to go through all of them. I'll go through the rest of them first, then go back to the fusion box. First of all, we have the kernel for config, which is for the Boifla kernel. So I have to get give the super user permission now, so that we can use that. So the normal Boifla uh, app, which can, which gives you the various options for CPU overclocking, things like that. Everything is working. Uh, it's pretty awesome to have everything working now uh, now we have fusion box lab options app bar it does have an app bar you can enable app bar with uh, and you can have a custom row of apps at each side so you can select the position also that's pretty cool you have all these options great now uh, gesture anywhere it's one of my favorite features it was available in 10.2 and i haven't seen any other uh, kitkat roms incorporating this feature into it so you can have uh, an area where you can click and have a gesture so uh, let me just increase the trigger width and show you guys so you can just have a gesture you can uh, uh, link an app a function a tasker task also so you can have anything you want into that so one gesture can open a lot of things so that's really a great thing um what else do we have identicon okay identicon is kind of like a contact picture uh, replacement any contact without a picture will get a contact picture which is customized you can have retro style something which is like this or contemporary which is something like this so i have uh, actually shown this in the previous fusion rom review so if you really want to see that you can go uh, watch that so i'm not going to do that again so 
focus it takes a while so you have that option also this is from the chameleon os so you do have that suspend action is kind of like a uh, battery saver tool so if you enable that you have these functions okay uh, whenever the screen is off you can switch to 2g or disable the mobile data forever well for the time it is uh, the screen is off or disable the gps so that is pretty cool it does save a lot of battery and speaking of battery i'll talk about that later wake lock blocker is another function which is pretty uh, damn awesome because uh wake lock is detected in a lot of phones in the, uh, especially in the uh, s3 there are a lot of instances of wake lock which does kind of um, give away with the battery life so that's uh, that can be uh, rectified from this initd options you do have a few initd options again my warning uh, do not mess with this if you don't know what it is because i have run into a few uh, problems so i don't want you guys to have uh, problems also so that's that's it build dot prop mods also has a lot of options in that um, again do not mess with it if you don't know what you're doing so yeah that's something which i wanted to talk about it also has system cleaner which is actually a function from slim rom where you can just uh, tick whichever option you do want and you can delete it and these are system apps which you cannot normally delete without a root browser so you do have that function because uh, sometimes when you flash a g apps package it normally has the google experience launcher i normally delete that one and have the light version so uh, instead of going through a root browser you can just go to here and just delete the google experience launcher from here so that is pretty great feature to have you also have weather option which is an aokp weather option you can have weather at uh, at the status bar at the lock screen at every place you want so you can enable that and have the aokp styled weathers so that is really great also and last we have the about fusion uh, thing so you can uh, go to the fusion website xda page uh, share fusion rom this is the developers uh, github uh, dragon is the name of the developer these are the contributors so you have all these options from the settings menu so that is in the fusion box uh, as a whole now the big elephant in the room enter fusion box it has bunch of settings now first of all is lcd density now lcd density. first of all i would like to show you guys that this is the general settings this is only the general settings there are a lot of others i'm not sure if you are able to see the general uh, I, the text here it is in white background with a red uh, accent so i'm not sure <coughs> excuse me first of all we have the lcd density so you can set the lcd density um this one i guess comes with 240 or 280 i'm not sure which uh, is that which version is that but it comes with another density so i have changed it to 320 so that uh, it is more legible but i i prefer 280 because it's it looks cool so you do have that option also uh, power menu now here you can select the power menu options which are these you can have all these options you can enable um, screen recorder you can have profile uh, profile switcher you can add anything you can add custom apps also so that is pretty darn awesome to have in this one so you can have that you can see the calculator has been added so that is really a great feature to have you do also have styles which actually changes the text color icon color icon color mode everything it changes everything so that's pretty cool what else do we have now media scanner at boot um, default alt alternative default upgrade also like the ics you have a uh, cpu info which is this one you get a overlay of cpu info restart system ui if you have changed a lot of things and you want the system ui to be changed so recent ram bar also is available so you can have this one uh, and just change whatever is available there so i'm having everything there so you can see the free ram everything is quite substantial you have 213 megs free 620 max used and uh, yeah that is with cache and everything so that is pretty good uh, you have show clear all button you can enable or disable it you can also have the position of at any corners low battery warning pop up and sound or anything else so you do have all that option also less frequent uh, notification sound you can set the notification sound interval because if you are getting a lot of notification it will not just go beep 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 you can set the interval at how at what interval the uh, sounds should come on 
screen on notification light i'm not sure it's not working actually with the screen on the notification light still comes on uh, i'm not sure what is the fix yet but i'm not sure any rom has the fix yet so yeah what is else now first and then you have notification quick settings so these are options for notification drawer so you do have this one this is actually slim rom style uh, notification which has a lot of function it does have styles which is uh, probably one of my favorite function in that um, custom carrier label, high notification, uh, swipe, uh, swipe, sw uh, swipe to swipe detection. That is something which is really awesome. You have the entire area to swipe, so that is that really works out pretty good. Shortcuts also, but the shortcuts I guess is not uh, completely um, stable, but that is a, something of a trade-off. You have tiles and layout, which is similar to what you would expect from a slim ROM style thing. So it's not a CM, so you don't have camera and function. These are the tiles which you can choose from so it does have custom app and custom contact it also has the theme chooser which changes to dark or black uh, from this notification panel it does have smart pull down so dismissive persistent whatever uh, it does have styles which is my one of my favorite feature because uh, i normally use the four tiles per row option so and it also has flip tiles which is again good you have lock screen option you do have eight slider targets so currently it is enabled as four lock screen target you can enable this but uh, the shortcuts will be um, removed and you can have slider targets at eight so that is working um slide slider torch which is this one is really an awesome feature i really like this one i'll show you guys a demo of it uh, okay you will tap it once and then you will hold it then you can have the torch function enabled so that is really awesome let's let me show you guys so this is the torch is right now functioning so i'm not sure if you are seeing that but it is working so that is a uberly cool feature uh, screen security has a few options also uh, the theme style now in the theme style you do have a custom lock handle which is fusion icon you can have that i'll show you guys that this is the fusion lock handle which is uh, the fusion logo so yeah it is available if you want that if you want a bit of a change so that is there widgets you can enable widgets or have the camera widgets everything working pretty cool all of these are security features so pretty neat uh what else miscellaneous features also has a few options uh it has allow rotation it can allow rotation it does have blurred lock screen background which is pretty cool it also has transparent lock screen if you don't want the blur effect you can have that also it has the blur radius which intensifies the blur uh, as you want it so that is really great uh, what else does this have camera custom widgets etc lock screen notification it does have lock, lock screen notification in my AUSB ROM review I have gone through um, lock screen notification which is pretty substantial you can have that it does have no pocket mode again do not use pocket mode with active display it does have active display so yeah in the navigation bar it does have navigation bar again so you can have that and this uh, kind of implementation of navigation bar is my favorite because you can remove these the, you can remove these and add custom apps in that positions so that is really great uh, I normally use a navigation uh, bar with a with minimal height for the quick uh, apps which I always use like uh, camera uh, calls SMS uh, whatsapp things like that in there so that where, no matter where I am I can still go to that op apps so that is really great so you do have that one so these are navigation bar settings so yeah now we have status bar now status bar also has a few settings of its own uh, you can see battery icon you can have um, this one which is the normal icon uh, icon icon with percentage circle circle with percentage dotted circle with percentage everything you want so that is pretty neat what else battery bar battery bar it also has battery bar which is well kind of shows whatever it is so yeah clock and date it does have clock and date it does have center clock which is one of my favorite i normally keep it as center clock with small am and small date so i normally do that fun thing i'm kind of uh, depressed about the fun thing the thematic rom did have this working but the contents to one is not working correctly i guess it's a font mismatch i think i need to install the font uh, myself it does have contextual notification panel header which is omni feature which changes the uh, header of the notification panel to something which corresponds to the time so that is available double tap to sleep also has 
uh, been installed so you do have the double tap to sleep rather than using this one you can have that so that is pretty cool uh, notification network activity indicator which is also an omni feature so yeah it does have a button configuration so you can uh, actually override this so you can have the custom buttons whichever you want so you have that option also these also fast torch which is kind of like an option to have the torch enabled by pressing down the power button you do have quiet hours which is especially helpful for someone like me who um, kind of don't want any disturbance when i'm sleeping so yeah you can enable that whenever uh, at the times you want it does have custom system animation which you can select in any combination so that is really great it does have list view animation so i'm not going to get too much into that i know it is going to be a long review because it does have a lot of features the list view interpolator it's another feature which well combines with the list view animation crt animation has a lot of function also you can see you can have a don't show animation which uh, fades away or you can have a scale down which is another option Active display. This was uh, this was what I was talking about. You can enable active display, and you can you do have the turn off display also. So this is the new active display with uh, when you place the phone back in your pocket, the display turns off automatically. So that is really great. So that is it with the fusion box settings. So that was a lot of settings. Now, um, rest of them are similar to what you would expect from a. Uh, uh, from a cyanogen mod or kitcat run so a lot of options there also so you can see these are the options what else do we have now um it has been a lot and now uh again with a rom of so many features with so many features there are bound to be a few bugs and i did happen to find a few bugs the animations are not as smooth it does have a few stutters here and there uh, i'm not sure why but yeah it, it is available I almost forgot in the more option you have power widgets which is a godsend for someone like me I really like the power widgets which was available with uh, other ROMs the previous versions of ROM like gingerbread which gives you an option for having this thing which is these you can have that so you do have that instead of QS tiles uh, strip you have power widgets which you can have you can enable all of these settings so yeah that's really a great thing to have uh you also have halo but this one is not the uh movable and scalable halo so you can't have everything when uh, within one roms okay so yeah it is something of a missing thing but still you do have that uh what else do we have now let me show you guys the boot animation which is really awesome this is the shutdown animation so here is the boot animation which is fusion in a kind of creepy way so yeah it is available there so i guess that should be it about the rom i know this is a long review because this is a rom with a lot of function and a lot of features so yeah the under the benchmark score uh the average i did uh flash this like four or five times and um the average which I got was 18.882. The highest which I got was 19.53. Uh, well, with Boyfla Girl, that is kind of low, but considering the amount of features which is crammed into this, uh, it's not surprising. You do have the Halo app, which does uh, use something. So you can assign function to Halo uh, to open certain apps whenever you give a gesture so that is really cool in the camera app also you this one is actually slim camera so you do have extra features uh, like power key shutter button so and face detection everything like that so you do have that options also so that is really cool now um talking about the battery life now battery life is kind of it really surprised me because a ROM with so many features isn't supposed to have this good of a battery life but this one as I've said really surprised me um, I ran music for a lot of long time and the battery drain was was only uh, six percentage battery drain, and I ran music for two and a half hours uh, without uh, any uh, block and yeah I was surprised it was only six percentage uh, battery drain so that that is kind of amazing 
Um, rest of the functions are similar to whatever you would expect from a uh, KitKat ROM and honestly saying this is one such ROM with where everything comes along fine. So I would like I would suggest you guys give it at least a try and uh, it's going to be an awesome one. So I guess you guys like the video, please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.